Hey guys, today I'd like to give a three month review of the Surface Pro 3 from Microsoft. It's been a fantastic tablet so far. First impressions I got from the machine were that it's light and portable. Uh, the screen on it is uh, extremely high resolution, which is fantastic for doing multitasking and just generally the quality of the screen is, is nice to look at. And obviously the screen can dim as well, which is fantastic. We bought these with keyboards and these are the, uh, the ones that are sort of touch type, type covers and they sort of stick to the the uh, tablet itself. They're also really, really, really nice to type on. Now, word actually, in fact, and uh, you know, I mean, they, they, they are really, really responsive, great to use, and uh, in general, the trackpad is fantastic too. Okay, let's move on to the kickstand. Now, the stand on this is, is adjustable, so as you've probably seen in the videos, you can obviously move it up and down, back and forwards, so you can obviously adjust ultimately the, the angle of your, your tablet and, and basically which position it's in to make it comfortable for you. That's a fantastic feature, whereas the two and the, the one obviously only clicked uh, one position on the first and the second one uh, was a, a two position, so you can have one or the other. Now it's a bit more flexible and that's fantastic. Uh, the next thing I want to cover is the, the USB uh, and the charger and the SD ports on uh, slot on this machine. Now the, the charger port itself, as you can see here, is like a sort of card that slides into the side of the machine and it powers the machine uh, through that. Now before it was kind of a magnet device which is quite hard and fitted to get on. This is fantastic, it's just very easy, you can just find it instantly, you know where it is, as you can see me there putting it straight in and out without trying, that's what she said. Um, and it lights up as well, so on the bottom here it has like a light, as you can see. So yeah, an awesome charger design, much better than the first and second ones. Let's move on to the USB and the SD slot. Now, as you can kind of kind of imagine I use a, a GoPro to record my videos and as you can probably see it in the reflection there of the screen flashing away GoPro and it has an SD slot so I record a video I put it into the back of this machine right here there's a little slot on the back and then you can drag and drop the photos off in seconds much more efficient than a USB cable which is absolutely fantastic all cameras these days have an SD card or some sort of flash storage makes it very very easy to transfer data across from one to another as for the USB now USB is kind of overlooked these days because people still need USB. Let's say you want to plug a mouse in because you haven't got a trackpad with a, a keyboard because you haven't got a keyboard. Or you just want to plug in a USB stick or you want to plug in an external hard drive with loads of data on it. Or you want to back up your data from this to, let's say, OneDrive or your OneDrive data to a hard drive. You can do it through the USB port on that, which is obviously a fantastic um, benefit of using uh, USB in the first place. Okay, so that's the first impressions. Let's go to the overall performance of the machine. Now, this is a, an i5 system and it has four gig of RAM and I have found no bottlenecks in this system whatsoever with an SSD, 128 gig. It is absolutely fantastic. The battery life, let's talk about that. On a typical day of sort of mild use for internet browsing, uh, sort of office documentation and photo viewing, things like that, you'll get a good eight to 10 hours of battery life. I'm not gonna lie and say you get longer because you don't, you get about eight to 10 hours. That's still very, very, very good for a tablet with Windows 8 running on it, a full blown laptop, effectively. Okay, multitasking. Let me give you an example of that, the efficiency that this can multitask. My desktop here, I've got all my data um, that I cu currently use, including my Dropbox stuff as well. Uh, running, I have got uh, all the Office products, so Word, Excel, PowerPoint that you mainly use, and also OneNote. Okay, that's fantastic because you know, I can run all that at once, great. Then it comes to using the pen, okay? This is multitasking. Um, you've got the pen here, it can be used to write and make notes, it can be used to actually physically command the machine like you would with your finger, it's very accurate. So you can draw things, shapes, uh, make sort of uh, designs, uh, explain things to people, so a, a tree diagram or um, whatever else you wanna do, you know, like a network. Or, you know, it, it's fantastic like that for making notes, drawing things, explaining things to people and other things as well. Now, I, I'm no expert on, on OneNote. I've, I've not really used it, I'm not gonna lie until now. That's just a, a brief overview of that. Let's carry on with the multitasking theme though. We've got two, two browsers running here. We've got Chrome and IE. Both of them are, are working flawlessly. If I want to view something, it will work instantly straight away. As for movie editing, okay, I use Windows Movie Maker at the moment. I'm not gonna lie, there's no point in uh, me buying a product when there's a free product out there. There's a perfect job for what I need at the moment. It does the exact specification for what I need. So if I want to view a video and edit it, I can do it through my tablet, no problem. From the GoPro, which, like I'll be doing with this video and edit it together. Play straight through my tablet. I can edit it, do what I need to. This is a video I've not actually put up on YouTube yet, but I might do in the future. Let's touch on the next theme, which will be virtualization. Okay, so at the moment I'm running a Windows 10 client here, virtualized. 
How amazing is that? I mean, you're running a tablet that's a full-blown laptop and you can virtualize within it and still get your eight to 10 hours battery life. You can test software, you can install things, you know, you can play about with Windows XP, you can play about with Vista, you can play around with 7, 8, 10, server, uh, Linux, anything you want, right here on your on your tablet with the use of a pen to tr try and make it a lot easier for yourself and navigate everything. When it comes to images, you can obviously view your images, a picture of my car there, you know, it's no problem at all. Listen to music, let's listen to a little bit of music. Let's put some Ella Henderson on, uh, just pick a track. Sounds fantastic on it, as you can hear. From a tablet, that's very, very good. And then when it comes to the last thing, and some people would say this is the most important thing, not to me it's not, but to some people it's, a, it's an important thing. Can it play games? Well, yes it can. Okay, you're not actually installing them on this machine and playing them directly from this machine, but you can use Steam as the Steam Stream function. So if you've got another machine on the network that's more powerful, maybe a gaming system uh, with that library installed, go ahead and log in onto Steam in your same account. Go ahead and click on the game, play the game, and you can play your game through remote desktop on your tablet from your gaming system on the same network. The next thing I want to talk about in terms of multitasking is how does the tablet react to heat and cooling? Yes, the tablet gets hot. Yes, it does uh, have a fan that you'll hear whirring away, but it cools very efficiently as well. You'll find that it'll come on for a few minutes and then just go out once it's cooled down. It's not noisy, you can barely hear it, and in general, the laptop doesn't doesn't get that hot when you you know doing anything normal on it like web browsing, uh, listening to music. It's only when you're doing video editing, playing a game, etc., 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 on it that it'll get hot. Okay, let's talk about the 128 gig storage that this thing has. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Right? People say to me, "Oh, you you, you know you can't go solid state drive. They're not big enough yet. Your OS is stored on it." You've got your Dropbox account, your OneDrive account with 500 gig of storage with this tablet, or the one I got, and it's not really an issue. You store a few images on it, you back them up to an external source anyway, either through cloud or through an external hard drive, so what is the problem? Like I said, a, a Windows 10 virtual machine running here, that's a 40 gig virtual machine in itself, you know, no problems at all, it's fantastic. Okay, this is an i5 with 4 gig of RAM, is that enough? Yes it is. Got a bit of a shaky hand syndrome right now. There we go. As you can see, it's a four gig of RAM with uh, an i5, 2.5 gigahertz. That is fine. It will very, very rarely bottleneck the system. Usability section of this machine. Okay, it's powerful when it's fast, and that's what most people want from a machine. It's quick and efficient. The battery lasts a long time. Applications will load very quickly when you want them to. So let's go ahead and close down some of these applications and then reopen them and see how you know how it reacts to that, how it responds to that. You know how we get on with it in general. So as you can see, I'm just closing them down, reopening them again. Hyper V instantly opened it. Let's close down Chrome, reopen it again. Chrome, how you instantly done. Just on your screen like that, no problem at all. With Windows 10 running as a virtual machine, you know, no issues whatsoever. My internet's dropped out. That's great. It's great for video editing, as you know. It's great for video playback and music listening. It's good for viewing images and running VMs on it. What else is it good for? Well, they're good for Steam streaming and your boot speed and your resolution of the screen. They're all factors you have to take in on this and just how good this tablet really is. Now, I'd like to touch on my overall opinions for this, this tablet and for the pros and the cons. Now, I would say there's only a few cons to it, if I'm honest. It's a very, very, very good machine. Now, I don't have any issues with it at all, apart from the resolution is a bit high and that, it's not really a gripe, that's more of a, I, okay, I need my eyes testing, but <laughs> uh, I do struggle to see the fonts at times, and some web pages can't scale well to it. The resolution is very high and very, very detailed. It's fantastic, don't get me wrong. It's just that if you've got eyesight where you kind of need glasses or you may need an eye test, you'll need them even more when you're trying to view this screen. Okay, one of the other cons I have for this is the kickstand's a little bit sharp on your legs. Let's say that you're uh, sitting there and you've got it on your legs. It does hurt after all, it kind of digs in. It sounds like a bit of a bit of a wimpy gripe, but it is a genuine thing to, to factor in. If you're sitting there in long periods of time typing up your letters, typing up your notes, whatever you're doing at uni, or just in general playing a game on it or something, or watching a YouTube video, it hurts. It genuinely hurts your legs to sit there with it on because it's quite sharp and metal, it's cold as well. Um, that's not really a gripe though, it's more of just a, an aesthetic -y thing, it's not really a, that much of an issue. Okay, let's go on to the, the pros because there's not many cons for it. Okay, pros. Let's think about it logically. It's ultra portable, it's super fast, 
It's great for multitasking. Uh, it's got amazing battery life and it's good for productivity like office products and just general sort of video editing, things like that. Web browsing on it, that's just another great example of what it can be used for. So overall, lots and lots of pros to this machine. Not that many cons. I'm sure you guys have mixed opinions on it as well, but my opinion is, if you like a laptop that is quick, powerful, efficient, able to do most things you do on a daily basis, you know, go ahead and get one of these. I mean, it's not a laptop, it's a tablet, but it does act like a tablet and a laptop. You can have it on both, you know, with or without the stand, with or without the keyboard, as you can see, it works with or without it. It's a fantastic concept that works very well. One last thing I'd like to touch on, is this a tablet or a laptop? Answer me that. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you all next time. As always, thanks for watching, I'm Jake Billing, see you later. See ya, bye bye.